I think coming up with the idea is the hardest part. Because I'm, for me, um, I always want to try and do something original. Mm -hmm. Even if the idea is not 100% original, I always want it to be like my stamp needs to be on it. I took um, the idea of having a kind of front of something, being able to put a front on for a situation. Two, three, four. Yeah. Particularly in my piece, having the perfect life and the perfect world for a woman. So having the job, having the kids, having, you know, the perfect husband and whatever, everything. Dinner's on the table all every night, just perfect, idealistic. This part is like super gestural and like almost mechanical. And back and up and step to the front. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What happens behind closed doors from that perfect life is this just deteriorating um, person. That person is just becoming ragged and tired and worn out and eventually the front that they're putting on is cracking. And so people are starting to see like this person is not who they say they are and something's wrong and in the end you see what happens when you, you're fake about something and you're not honest with yourself. You're gonna lean. And you're going to take the right hand and you're going to shoot the leg back. And you're going to get into this like straight thing. It just bends. Yeah, and I want a sound on that hit. So a physical, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of just stepping, you're gonna do this with your arms. The minute that they jump out, they're in this very synchronized movement and it's super feminine and it's just like cookie cutter and then there's a moment where they just pop out of that and they, they stumble. I think that's, I, that would be what it is for me because it's such a drastic change and you're like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> I don't want it to look too swimmy. I want it to be more like what and back into the like, reality. And then there's a recovery moment into going to something else. It started with a bench first. Originally, I was like, I just wanted to do a piece with a bench. Sit here, I want you to find a position that is almost, uh, it's very like you're thinking. So you can, can you still want to, you can go back. I think somebody one. going back, maybe like this. I would like a different level of that. And all of a sudden it's going to be a jolt and you're going to just jump back to this position. And your hands are just going to go here, like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright. And then, um, Angela's going to be the first one to go. Her arms are going to go back and she's going to go and leave. I don't know how far back. I was sitting in my office on like a prep hour and I was like, this is an interesting topic. Like thinking back what I've seen and what else I could do with a bench that would be different. Can you do it bent on the flat foot? Yes. I'm very much into that um, collaborative process. Yeah. I personally as a dancer hated being told you need to look exactly like this, you need to have this here and that has to be there. If it's wrong, you're wrong. You have more time. You can play with it. It takes away from the artistry of dancing and that's why I got into it is because I could do I could be beautiful, I could be ugly, I could be crazy looking, but there was a point to it and I could make it 
a message and if I can share that with somebody the ideas then I'm like a super happy person which is why a lot of times in my dances I start out with a really good idea of movement of like this is what I want and then once we workshop it usually I find something way better. Do I do something different? Yeah. Let's see where are you when you're on the Because a dancer will do something I'll be like I really enjoy that. Can you do that? Put this spin on it. Yeah, what are those? What are those? Can you uh, saute? It's a chasse and sauté or this. I don't want to chasse. I just want to sauté. Sauté or this. You want to this way? Yeah. Because then you can run around. Boom. So you're you're never like set in stone. No. On your piece. <laughs> never. I think it's good. It, can be, it makes it a lot more uh, organic. Mm-hmm. It's always better to have an audience, even if it's one person or a hundred people, a thousand people, whoever. I think that's always appreciated more because then you're kind of getting a taste of you know, what are they actually seeing? Is my brain like, you know, just set on this or is it different in somebody else's mind? Um, but there is something to be said about just being in that creative process with somebody and then just setting it for yourself. It's a satisfaction thing of, this is what I wanted, this is what I got, mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs>